Hello, in this video, I'm going through my winter beauty empties, fails, and faves. So many products to get through and such a fun way to end the year. I've got skincare, body care, hair care, nail care, and a couple makeup items. If you love beauty content for mature women, consider subscribing and liking this video and joining the Beyond 50 Skin community. And a reminder, if some of my fails are your faves, don't be offended, we all have different skincare needs. I'm gonna start with skincare in the cleanser category. I had quite a few fails. I try a ton of products and I try to describe the products that would be suited to the skin type, even if there's some of my fails that you might enjoy. The Neo Cleanse, this is by Neo Cutis. This is a creamy cleanser. It was just slightly too stripping for my dry skin. It just didn't end up getting all the makeup off, even with a double cleanse, starting with either a balm or an oil cleanser. Also a quick reminder, my gently used products I share with Project Beauty Share, and I'm going to link their website down below. If you have gently used beauty products, it's a fun way to donate and give back. They have a list of what they will and won't accept. So I will be making a pile of my gently used beauty and sending those off this afternoon. I had a fairly expensive cleanser by Allies of Skin. This is their molecular skin amino hydrating cleanser. Now I did not find this hydrating for my dry skin. I've almost used the entire thing. I would consider this an empty. I have just a little bit left. I will finish it off, but for the luxury price of this product, it just wasn't hydrating enough. Another fail in the cleanser category was by Drunk Elephant. This is their jelly cleanser. Once again, very similar to the Neo Cleanse. It just was slightly stripping. If you have normal to oily skin, you'll probably love this cleanser. An absolute favorite find in the cleansing category was the Pixi EDO Cleansing Oil. I always like to start my evening skincare cleansing with an oil or a balm cleanser just to get all the makeup, skincare, and all the gunk off my face before I come in with a second cleanse. This was one of my favorite finds, super affordable. It was in my favorites video. And if you're looking for a good oil cleanser to get rid of all that makeup before you come in with your second cleanse, I highly recommend the Pixi EDO. Moving on to serums and essences and toners, I tried a little sample of I'm From the Mugwort Essence. Definitely enjoy this for a hydrating toner. Would definitely consider this a repurchase. A fail in the serum category was a vitamin C serum that I tried. This is the C Firm Fresh Day Serum by Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant definitely struck out for me. There's really, really only one product of the little kit that they sent me in PR of their minis that I enjoyed. I just didn't find this as brightening as some of the other vitamin Cs that I enjoy using. And so this for me was a fail. On the plus category from Drunk Elephant was their TLC Frambu. This is a glycolic serum, definitely suited for an evening skincare routine for gentle exfoliation. I actually found it a little bit more gentle than the Dermalex Sleep Serum that I've been using. I highly recommend using this, especially if you're a beginner to glycolic. I suspect that the glycolic percentage in this is fairly low, but definitely always patch us patch test if you're using an exfoliating serum for the first time. Of course, as always, my Mysama Green Robos Tea Serum I used before all of my LED red light therapy treatments. If you open it up, it comes in this little sealed pouch inside. You can recycle the glass and you can also sniff this open and scoop out the last little bits. Another serum that I finished up is the Pillow Talk Derm Hyper Serum. This is always on repeat for me. It was in my 2023 favorites and highly recommend if you you're looking for a serum that is brightening and helps with pigment control. As far as retinoids, I had a fave and I had a fail. This is the one by Murad. It's a retinal. It's one of their new releases. It's not a fail because it doesn't work. It's a fail because of the scent profile. I prefer a retinoid that has absolutely no scent and this kind of has I would say a woodsy scent to it. So this is going to be going to Project Beauty Share because it's very gently used. I just used that little pump and one pump before that just to see what the scent profile was. A win in the retinoid category is the 101 A Game by Geek and Gorgeous. This is fragrance free and it's a wonderful retinal, super affordable. As far as moisturizers, I had two fails, the peptide cream 
that is loved by many. It's the Proteini. I just don't find this hydrating enough, but if you have normal to oily skin, you might find this perfect for a winter skin moisturizer. But for me, it just isn't quite hydrating enough. I did use it up more when I was in Florida where the environment is much more humid. Now I'm back in Colorado. It's dry, it's cold, and this just isn't quite enough for me. I also found the Dermalect. This is their Empower Anti-Wrinkle Treatment. This just doesn't do anything for me. Just doesn't even come close to the peptide night cream from Dermatology. It actually, the texture is similar to the Proteini, kind of very lightweight. And also it has a little bit too much of a scent profile for me. So this was a pass. In the sunscreen category, I have a fail and I have a fave. EV Technology has been one of my favorite sunscreens for outdoor activities. For years, I've highly recommended it over and over again. If you want an outdoor activity sunscreen that doesn't budge, this is the best one that I've found for the entire family. It's a foam sunscreen, so if you're not used to that, you just do a golf ball size of the foam, work it into a lotion, and apply it. The Elta MD, I was so excited to use and try their UV Clear. This is the Broad Spectrum 46. This just didn't work for me. It wasn't moisturizing enough. It ended up kind of pilling and it just never, the white cast just never really settled down. So this was a pass for me. I know a ton of you love it. So if you love it, definitely keep using it. Moving into the moisturizers for my evening skincare routine, I tried the hydration vaccine during the NIOD's 23% off slow vemper sale. Again, this was a bit of a fail. It has a fairly dimethicone thick texture. If you have normal to oily skin, you're going to love this moisturizer because it really dries down. It doesn't leave a greasy finish. It's actually more of a matte finish. The Moisture Recovery Cream by Jordan Samuel. Nice, thick, occlusive moisturizer, especially if you're having a little bit of skin barrier issues in the winter. Hydration Vaccine has that sort of dry matte finish after it delivers kind of this sort of moisturizing, I can't describe it, it's kind of like this moisture hit, and then it kind of dries down semi-matte. Semi but if you have dry or oily skin, once again, I think you're gonna love it. A couple facial oils that I tried and finished up. This is the stacked Shunko facial oil, blush facial oil, lovely facial oil. It is a luxury facial oil. I would ask for it as a gift. It's a little bit too, expensive and bougie bougie for my skincare routine, but I did receive this in PR and I loved using it. I do love a luxury facial oil. I can't deny that, but honestly, I'm not sure they're worth the expense for the purpose of them. Really, they're just to seal the deal in your evening skincare routine at the very end. Your skin does wake up beautiful, but at the same time, I'm not gonna pay $100 for a facial oil. Let's move on to some neck products. The Dermalect, this is their self-esteem neck cream. Love it. Definitely will be on repurchase. I like this for my evening skincare routine because it has several actives and helps reduce that crepey skin and the neck area, and it's very gentle. As far as a daytime cream for the neck area, as you all know, I love the Dermatology Advanced Neck Cream. The lips, this was a new find for me in 2023. Definitely would repurchase this. This is the lip cream that helps with fine lines. It is really more of a cosmetic product. It doesn't have a whole lot of actives in there, has some peptides, but it's not going to eliminate your lip lines. I think people were expecting that this was going to be a solution to lip lines. It really is a masking product that works lovely under makeup to just diminish the look and hydrate the upper lip area. Speaking of lips, again, an empty. This is the Laneige. This will always be on repurchase for me. It's a fairly thick lip sleeping mask, a cult classic. I really love this in the evening time and in the daytime, I prefer the Tatcha lip treatment, the Kisu. For eyes, for lightening and brightening, I always use Lumify just to brighten my eyes as I've gotten in my wiser years. I noticed that my eyes just are more dull looking sometimes in the morning and I'm just not quite wide awake looking. So the Lumify just brightens my eyes and I've been using it for now, I think about two years. Let's move on to some body products. This is just kind of a personal care item. We keep this in our family shower. It's great for underarm odor. It's the Panoxol. This is their anti-foaming wash. I learned about this years ago from Dr. Dre. Really does cut down the bacteria in the underarm area and also helps if you have body acne. Of course, given that it's winter time, I ended up getting through two of my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is their fragrance-free body lotion. I put it on damp skin 
right when I jump out of the shower. And don't forget retinol for the body. Lots of retinol products are coming out for body care. This is the Versed Press Restart. Absolutely love this. This is a new find for me. I would definitely repurchase this. Super affordable. It's a gentle retinol body lotion. And if you want to introduce a vitamin A to your body skincare routine, definitely check this out. If you haven't checked out my body care video, I'll put a card up above. Don't ignore body care. Body care in 2024 is going to be one of the big trends. I think every skincare company that I know of is coming out with a body care line. So definitely don't ignore the skin on your body, especially as we age, we want our skin to look bright and taut and get rid of some of that crepey skin. And a retinol body lotion is a great way to improve the, the cell turnover to help decrease the look of crepey skin. One of my fails in the body care was the Naturium. I love Naturium's, their Glow Getter Body Oil Wash. Fantastic, but unfortunately, the Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion just didn't do anything for me. It felt kind of tacky going on, and it really just didn't do anything to moisturize my skin. All right, moving on from body care to hair care. Of course, three of my travel favorites are the Kenra 25, and I went through true two dry texture sprays during vacation this year over the winter months and these are always on repurchase for me i buy the jumbos i buy the regular sizes and i also always travel with them a hair care fail that i found rolling around in my cupboard was the kula hair mist this is a sunscreen for the scalp this i just never ended up picking it up after using it a couple times it made my scalp kind of oily and my hair kind of greasy i'd rather just put on a hat for nails, I have a product in each category, an empty, a fail, and a fave. The empty is the Nail Polish Remover by Manicurus. This is the LED gel nail system that I've been babbling about all year long for my manicures and pedicures. It's a very gentle system that gives you a gel-like manicure pedicure without damaging your nails and it lasts a bit longer than a traditional nail polish, and I've really been enjoying it. I shared it in a video, which I'll link up above. I definitely need to repurchase, and the nail polish remover also is super gentle. It definitely does not damage your nails after you remove it, and it just leaves your nails nice and hydrated. Another hydrating product that ended up being a fave this year that I haven't really talked much about is the Makeover Nail Polish by Dermalect. Now, I've talked a lot about Dermalect this year. Again, I have a whole video on Dermalect products. I'm not sure I mentioned this in that video, but I have used this since and I really like it. In between my LED gel nails that I put on using the manicure system, I'll do a layer of this polish. It's peptide infused and it actually treats your nails. It hydrates the nails. Now, I'm not saying that this is a miracle worker. I have dry nails and they almost seem like just not to grow in this dry winter weather, but this definitely helps. Over the holiday when I was in Florida, my nails started to grow a little bit. So I took off my LED nail polish and decided to give a treatment with this nail polish by Dermalect to see if I could maintain the growth of my nails. I've only had one break after putting a couple coats of this on and I've been home about a week or 10 days. So I definitely highly recommend this if you're looking to help with brittle dry nails. Another product by Dermalect that was not a fade for me, definitely a fail, is their cuticle cream. I just didn't find this did the job and I honestly can't recommend it. It's just basically a hand lotion. So this was a fail for me. Last category is makeup. I have one item that was an absolute favorite and kind of a surprise find. I picked up the Rare Beauty, this is their lip gloss. Basically, it's super basic. I'm wearing it today. I use it over the lip oil, which definitely was kind of a fail for me. I was super excited to try this lip oil, but it's slightly drying. So I put some of the Rare Beauty lip gloss over it. I'm trying to see if this has a color. They either call it petal or pearl. I'll link it down below, but love this. It rides around in my purse and I use it all the time. In fact, it's almost empty. What I love about the Rare Beauty lip products is the pop-up top. You do not get any gunk on the wand because it has this sort of spring action. And I hope every lip balm comes out with this, especially the wand products, because it just doesn't waste any product. It doesn't get gunky. It doesn't get caught up in the cap. This was a great find. Highly recommend this if you're looking for a great lip balm. 
That's a wrap up of my winter empty spills and faves for this year. If you have some that you want to share down below, definitely pop a comment. And if you haven't liked and subscribed to Beyond 50 Skin, please consider doing so. We have a lot coming in the next year. Wishing you all a skintastic day. If you haven't seen... Let...